We only eat when in our seat. The secret rule that brings peace to the dinner table. Dr. Kale, I loved your article on eating out in peace. It made an immediate difference when we go out with the kids. But what about dining at home? My kids are always running around like crazy and I can't keep them in their seat. When I do get them to sit down, they're always picking at each other. Help! Then, when dinner is over, they eat junk, junk, and more junk. How do I stop this pattern? Teresa, mother of three. Dear Teresa, I'm happy you enjoyed the article on eating out in peace. You can certainly create the same kind of peaceful environment when eating at home. Kids can present a number of different challenges and each can be dealt with by following a few simple guidelines. Dr. Kale's Eating Insanity Rules 1. You can only eat if you stay in your seat. More and more kids are very active, tend to jump out of their seat, run around, punch their brother, or run back and forth to the TV. You can put an end to this easily. You let your kids know you only get to eat when you remain in your seat. If you get out of your seat, you're done. Once dinner starts and you put the new rule into place, you might remind them just once per meal for the first week. After this, the rule stands without you having to state it. Now, if the kids get out of their seat, you simply reach over and take their plate, put their food in the garbage, and let them know they're done. No discussion, no snacks, until the next meal. Okay, I know this sounds harsh, but keep listening. If you have any concerns about them missing a meal, please don't. We know your kids can go for three weeks without food. Of course, I'm not recommending three weeks, and you really don't have to be concerned about that. I'm pointing out that missing a meal will not harm them in any way. I encourage you to check with your pediatrician if you have questions about this. I emphasize this point because it's essential for you to remain in a place of calm clarity as you respond with a clear consequence. Give clear notice. You only eat when you stay in your seat. End of story. 2. We only eat when there's peace. If your kids get ugly or they start calling each other names or they're kicking under the table, let them know they're excused. Again, take their plate, put the food in the garbage, and let them know they're done until the next meal. Again, no snacks, no cheating, nothing in between. Why is this so important? Because the consequence of feeling they're hungry is the teacher here. They need to be able to feel the consequence given without anger, without ugliness, or without an argument. You simply fulfill the promise that you made for them. If they are not eating in peace, they're not going to eat. The beauty of this is that the learning curve is remarkably rapid. You will no longer be eating with all this bickering and complaining or kids being up and out of their seat. They will get it quickly and rapidly because the consequence is immediate powerful and it stays around for a few hours finally we only eat what mom or dad has prepared this helps to settle the issue of preparing a second meal or having your kids fix themselves a snack when they don't want to eat the healthy meal that's on the table for many households this may not be important for other households it's extremely important just operate from a base where you feel comfortable for the fact that you're putting a healthy meal on the table they can either eat it or not eat it it's not an option to complain get up and prepare another meal. This gets you out of the role of potentially being a short order cook and feeling as if your efforts are not appreciated. Put these three rules in place and you'll see how calm, peaceful, and enjoyable dining at home can be for everyone. To learn more, go to www.help-your-overweight-child.com. If you'd like to get more parenting tips and get the inside scoop on how small changes in your parenting can help your children, then visit me at www.terrificparenting.com. That's www.terrificparenting.com. Or you can explore my YouTube channel by simply clicking on the subscribe button above my YouTube videos. Remember, the right parenting tools make all the difference. Come check us out.